welcome to a Saturday edition of Tarot Study Buddy, where you send me your readings that you struggled with. Um, because from beginner to expert and everywhere in between, our personal readings that are wrapped up in our emotions are the hardest of all to solve. So I unpack those for you in a way that I hope is helpful um, for you to dig past those feelings next time and be able to unpack that next reading. So please like, comment, and subscribe. And remember that we are talking about real people's lives. So please be kind in those regards. So what is on our plate today? We have two Tarot Study Buddy questions. And if you would like to submit a question to Tarot Study Buddy, go to www.neektarot.com slash study buddy and fill out the form that asks you, what was your question? What were the cards? What was your interpretation? And what did you struggle with? I will contact you if your question is going to be answered on Tarot Study Buddy. And if you have submitted a Tarot Study Buddy request and are also a um, Annie Kay's um, student um, subscription, if you have signed up for the Annie Kay's um, student tarot subscription service, then I will also contact you by email when you send in your tarot study buddy and you will have the option um, if if I already have another tarot study buddy on the plate, you will have the option of just having it emailed or having it added um, as an additional question that week if there is room. So on our plate today, we have Facebook stalked, yes, no, I don't know, with a classic case of is this fear or is this intuition? And even my cards are giving up in Georgia who sees all their feelings but can't find the advice they came to the cards for. So my friends, these are the ones we are going to get into and we are going to start with Facebook stock, yes, no, I don't know. And we are going to use Latero Archetypal. I wanted to use a deck where the cards were, or at least the key figure in the card was facing the right direction. And I felt it had the same feel since I was using a different deck. Um, and that part's going to be important. Let's get into it. All right. So our friend Facebook stocked says, we had a bad breakup, um, only a few dates, some Zoom dates, and online chat. It wasn't working. Um, then he found me on Facebook. I blocked him, but now I'm getting likes from empty accounts. So my first advice before we even look at this is if you are getting likes from many um, empty accounts or um, you're not comfortable with the interactions you are getting, um, set your privacy settings on Facebook higher. I am no expert in how to do this, but what I am an expert in is using YouTube to find a video that will show me what it is I don't know how to do on the internet or on a computer. So that is my advice um, to start. Now let's get into the reading. Temperance. Um, and our friend says, I'm just here being chill, relaxed, kind of, I think. I think he's stalking me, but yeah, I think I'm still being kind of chill about it. I'm not sure, um, if I'm seeing this correctly. Sorry, sometimes my notes are messy. You are actually seeing it completely correctly. You're seeing the full entire picture of what's going on here. Um, temperance isn't it, after the sun card and being like, I'm so chill because it's all sunshine and roses. That's not what temperance is about. Temperance comes after death, after that whole death, upheaval, rebirth. 
the um in progressive death is death upheaval rebirth which i would like to think of a bad relationship to break up is um when a parent gives birth the four most dangerous hours are in the four hours after they give birth after the death ta -da, upheaval those next four hours and let's take hours as being metaphorical here are the most dangerous and yet so many parents find temperance um in that upheaval after that upheaval um you you went you went through all of that um it's all, everything's still kind of going on it's not like oh i'm done with the whole birthing thing now uh let's just you know, get back to life here. Um, it's a process even, even after, even after it's a process through this, through each card and through this card too. Um, and so everything you said is what temperance is about. It's about this whole upheaval of a thing going on. It was difficult. It was emotional. You're still feeling everything from it. And yet, you're finding like uh, a chill in relation to what's going on. You're not like the same chill after like an awesome day at the beach with your friends. But given the situation, you're handling it very well. Yes, you are reading this card correctly. You're handling it really well. I also see in this that you handled the breakup very well. We're not going to see the same from this ex. So I want us all just to take a good look at this. I want us to take a good look at this temperance, page of swords, oops, reversed, hermit, reversed. I think Nine of Swords Reverse, Nine Hermit Reverse means he's bitter and it feels locked out um, and he has a, a right to more of my attention. Um, but my book and some tarot friends say the Page of Swords wants to resolve conflict and the Hermit doesn't feel lonely. I, I don't know what I'm supposed to see. You're supposed to see what your intuition is telling you. And I want us all here to take a look. This page of swords looks icky and ominous, you know, skulking around in the dark with their own little flashlight or in a darkly lit room with a light on skulking on cyberspace and Facebook land more, you know, accurately. And I, I think temperance here, you know, I'm even feeling that like, you know, this isn't you, you, this is, you know, inner net you. As in like, it looks kind of, you know, tech-like, right? Does anybody else see this? Looks kind of tech-like and, um, you know, the page of swords looks kind of icky skulking around there with a sword, um, you know, and um, their light undercover trying. Yeah, I see it. I see it. I, I don't I don't care what anybody's guidebook says. I see what you're seeing. Completely. And um, the cards came out like this to show you that. It, it doesn't look as ominous like this, you know? Oh, it doesn't look as ominous like this. Maybe, you know, I can take some hermit time. I understand I'm finding some clarity. No, but like this, what you're seeing is, is the message and you're seeing it correctly. You just need to trust that um, what you're seeing is, is there. And, you know, 
folks watching, give Facebook stock just no, I don't know, some encouragement. Do you see what their intuition tells them to? I do. It looks ugh. like I see this and I'm like, oh, privacy settings, privacy settings. Yep. My first advice still stands when, when you don't feel right, privacy settings, up them. Yep, up them. You know, I think the Facebook app's dating feature is just making those folks who thought they were going to Facebook message people, hey, I want to get to know you and be your friend. Five minutes later, I want to date you. They they just feel like they're doing it for real. And I, I know that um, you didn't mention this was Facebook dating, just, you know, there was online. Um, but I think, you know, that atmosphere of that Facebook world, I think that dating app is just encouraging people on Facebook to be even icky people on Facebook to be even ickier. Um, so yeah, set those privacy settings. Regardless, but you're coming at this, despite the difficulty, you're staying pretty chill. So you can trust your intuition. It isn't fear. It is intuition. Uh, this just, this doesn't look good to anybody. But he looks creepy skulking around there in the dark with a light undercover. Okay. All right. Our next question is from... Even my cards are giving up in Georgia. And they asked a question looking for some motivation, quite clearly. What do I need to focus on um, to move my life forward? So we're going to go through their interpretation and then, and we will unpack it. And they use the light seers and yeah, I, I happen to have it. I just... Um, I, I don't know, I haven't really given it a chance yet. We'll see. All right. Nine of Wands, directionless. I'm lacking motivation. I just don't have it in me anymore to keep going uh, forward. I, I want to see what's going I want everyone to see what's going on in this reading. And then I'll unpack it. Six of Wands, just giving up on people and in relationships and socially. Six of Lovers. I think this card is um, in relationship to being directionless and to giving up on people. I don't know if it helps. The shadow is a seven of pence. So I think it backs up the rest of this. Even my cars are giving up in Georgia. So they see all their feelings that they, they brought into this. My friend, a really important lesson in, um, in tarot is bring what you're feeling to it and then let your mind clear so that you can see um, those things that are hard for you to see. So you can see beyond your emotions and feelings. It's showing you um, your emotions and feelings um, because you're going to be going through them with this advice. So let's find the advice that you're struggling to see because there is advice in this card and encouragement. So the nine of wands, directionless, lacking motivation. You have been feeling directionless and lacking motivation after a whole lot of struggles and putting in a whole lot of effort and time and work and you're just you're tired and you're exhausted but the nine of wands has a second wind because 
they're going to finish that journey and, and bring this home in the Ten of Wands. The Nine of Wands is um, going to take responsibility and pick this up. The Nine of Wands is where you're like, yeah, I feel directionless. I feel lacking motivation. But I am going to see how far I've come. And I can see that Ten of Wands just over the next hill. And I know it's going to be exhausted, but I'm so close. I just need to get over this hill and head on home. That is the Nine of Wands. So the Nine of Wands is like, you did all this. Nine of Wands, you're almost there. You're almost there. Really, don't, you, this is where you take a minute, you just sit down and uh, rub your feet, you know, pull us out a snack, pull out a thermos, um, you know, put a little bit of energy in you for that like last card home. You don't give up now. This isn't a directionless card. This is a card that's taking responsibility it has worn out, but like, it's so close. They're not completely, they're going to be exhausted at the end, but it's going to be worth it. Six of Swords. Just giving up on people and relationships and socially. Okay. I asked, did you leave a relationship? And you said, yes. I left a bad relationship and it meant I had to move towns and I feel like I'm giving up on everybody. You're not giving up. Giving up implies something you should have continued. You didn't give up. You moved ahead to leave a bad relationship. And it's been so rough. And you've made it so far and you're almost there. You didn't you left a bad relationship. And it, for the past year and a half, so much of our socialization has been um, on the internet. You, you still, you haven't given up on your other relationships. You still have the ability to contact them and stay in contact with them. You haven't lost these people. And you don't know where you're going, but you're going to feel safe and free and you're almost home to a new home, but it's not giving up on anybody. I think this card is in relationship to being directionless and giving up. It is, but it's a choice about how you're going to view this, how you're going to move forward with this. Um, how, how are you going to do this? Are you going to keep going? The Nine of Wands says you are. The Six of Swords already decided I'm taking the biggest, bravest step I can take. You made a choice for yourself. That's what the lover's card is about. It's, it's, there's space for future relationships now. For so many future relationships. You're going to have more relationships. Because, you know, the your friends and family, you're not losing those relationships by m moving somewhere safer. Um, you're going to gain more relationships. And you're gonna have an opportunity for a healthier relationship. I don't know if it helps. The shadow is a seven of pence. I think it backs up the rest of it. It sure does. It sure does back up the rest of it. You know, the it is hard 
it's hard to put in the work that you've put in because you don't know how it's going to turn out until, you know, harvest. Um, but you got to have faith and trust at will and keep working on it. The, your cards aren't giving up in your moment of weakness. Your cards are saying, oh, it has been so hard. We see you. We hear you. You have a second win. Just breathe deep. Rub your feet for a minute. Take something out of your knapsack to recharge. And, and then continue. You're almost through this journey. You have almost completed this journey. And we see what a journey it was. And I just want to put these two cards in relationship to each other. Um, sorry, it's reverse on my end. I don't know how I don't do this. So I just want us to see how these cards are in relationship to each other. Um, th this is where you were and, and you're moving towards more relationships, better relationships. You know, you're making the right choices. Um, You needed to see the actions you were taking. You needed to see beyond your emotions. And um, I'm going to say sometimes when we do a reading and it seems like even my cards are giving up, it is time to um, reach out to somebody else for a reading. And that might be a friend or a family member, or it might be a tarot reader such as myself. And so if you, um, you can reach out to me through Tarot Study Buddy, and you can also book a reading with me at www.nektarot.com. So thank you for joining me today at Tarot Study Buddy. And if you are in this place where um, you're just struggling to unpack a reading, or like even my cards are giving up in Georgia, it's just too doom and gloom in your head right now to see the answers and you can't get clear, reach out to Tarot Study Buddy or book a reading at www.nektarot.com and um, reach out to friends and family if you need to also. And you know, this week's was a set of cases where Folks just needed to have faith in the images in the cards. Um, these images were difficult, but they weren't doom and gloom. Nor is this card. And, um, you know, this was just as foreboding as it looked. So, this is, um, this set of readings is a really came out as a really great example of sometimes you have to trust the images you're seeing in the cards um, over any written meeting or anything else over, um, over your hurt and fear and worries. You have to trust the image you're seeing in the cards sometimes. All right. And that is Tarot Study Buddy for today, folks. I hope everyone enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I usually post on Saturdays and Wednesdays. Sometimes there's other videos. Um, and you can also check out my playlists. Um, what you will mostly find right now is Ask Auntie K, um, Tarot Study Buddy, and my current series, Spill the Tarot Tea. You will also find walk views and reviews in a separate playlist. And Oracles of Colonization has many great conversations on uh, tarot, colonialism, anti-racism, um, and seeing these things in the cards through a decolonial worldview. 
I will see you all later, folks. I hope you enjoy the rest of your Saturday night and come join me again another time soon.